Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello students, we are teachers Che Kribo K. Solomon and Mr. Aaron T. Bala of Rising Academies. This is the Rising Youth Movement Partnership for the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Lesson number 16. Our lesson today is language arts for the students of grade 3 to 4 and the topic is speaking practice. For today's lesson, we will be able to correctly sound out words, re and play sight words games, and define and correctly use vocabulary words. While we listen to these COVID-19 health tips, please take out your pencil, pen, and copy books and get ready for today's lesson. Again, welcome and let's learn. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problems, kidney failure or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Hello to our excellent students. We are the teachers who will talk to you on the radio. We wish we could see you in person, but we know that you will listen carefully and do your best. Thank you, Teacher Kribo. That was so great. Now, students, it is time for our lesson. Today, we have another reading session together. I'm feeling great because I know we will do lots of fun activity. How are you feeling today? Remember, the last time we practiced the sentence, Liberia has gold and diamonds. We practiced blending sounds to read and write the words like got, strand, wig, long, blonde, and mat. We learned and played a game with our side words. Finally, we read and discussed the passage part two, Liberia's mineral resources. For today, here are our six activity. Number one, we will do an activity called sentence warm up. Number two, we will do an activity called set words. Number three, we will do an activity called Brilliant blending. Number four, we will do an activity called write and read. Number five, we will do an activity called listen and write. Our last activity for today is number six, we will do an activity called read aloud. Let's have a great class together. Let's join Teacher Kubo for our sentence warm up activity. Thank you, Teacher Aaron. First, it is time for our sentence warm-up. Today, our practice sentence is, The waves were crashing louder on the shore. You will listen while I say the sentence two times. Then, I will tell you when it is time for us to read the sentence together. Listen first. The waves were crashing louder on the shore. The waves were crashing louder on the shore. Okay, when I say your turn, then we can all say it together. Ready? Your turn. The waves were crashing louder on the shore. One more time. The waves were crashing louder on the shore. Great. When I hear the sentence, the waves were crashing louder on the shore, I think about the sound that the waves would make and how they move in different directions. The waves might start high and then go low to the shore. 
I want to think about how you will do a drama for the sentence. The waves were crashing loudly on the shore. Will you use your arms as a waves? Will you sway from side to side? I will give you five seconds to think about how you will do a drama to show the sentence. The waves were crashing loudly on the shore. Great. I hope you have your drama idea ready. Now, I will say the sentence and you will do your drama. Ready? Your turn. The waves were crashing loudly on the shore. Wow. The students here with me did a wonderful drama. I wish I could see your beautiful drama at home too. I am sure you did a great job. Now, I have some questions for you. When I ask the question, if the answer is yes, stand up. If the answer is no, sit down. First question, would you like to walk on the shore? Next question, would you like to run on the shore? Next question, would you like to sleep on the shore? The last question, would you like to sing on the shore? Wonderful job answering those questions. Now, let's say the word shore. I wonder if you can tell me how many syllables there are in the word shore. You will listen Why I clap the syllables in the word. Then, I will tell you when it is your turn to try. Listen first. Sure. Sure. Ready? Your turn. Sure. sure. Again? Sure. sure. How many syllables in the word sure? Yes, there is one syllable. Sure is one word with one syllables. Is sure a noun, a verb, or an adjective? Remember a noun is a person, place, or thing. Sure is a noun. Sure is the land along the edge of the beach. For example, I walk along the shore to feed the ocean breeze. Thank you students for listening. We now move to our next activity called sight words. Sight words are words that we use a lot so we want to be able to read them quickly when we see them. In your notebook, I want you to have a special place where you write your sight words. Every day, you will put your sight words in the same place. On sight words page 1, you will write the number 11 and 12 with a space next to each number for a word. Go ahead and write 11 and 12. Now, you will write the side word I tell you next to the numbers. Number 11. Write the word dot. This word has four letters and it is spelled T H A T. Number 12. Write the word eight. This word has two letters and it is spelled I T. Let's also review numbers from before. Last time we had two other side words. Number now is the word is. This word has two letters and it is spelled I-S. Number 10 is the word you. This word has three letters and it is spelled Y-O-U. Fantastic! Now, we will play a side words game. I will say a word and you will point to the word in your notebook. And we will say it together. It could be sad words that you wrote before. Ready? Dot. Point to the word dot in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. Dot. It. Point to the word it in your notebook. 
Look at the word and read it. It is. Point to the word is in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. Is. You. Point to the word you in your notebook. Look at the word and read it. You. Great job with our sad words today. Remember, save those four pages in your notebook for your collections of sad words. We will add more sad words in our next section. Before we go to our next activity, let's listen to Teacher Kubo for a special message. You are listening to the Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. This is your lower basic level 2 grade 3 to 4 language arts reading and we are your teachers. We will now move the teacher Aaron for our next activity. Thank you teacher Kubo. Welcome back to our lesson students. Now it's time for brilliant blending. Are you ready? Great. First, I want you to listen. Rock. R -a -k rock. R -a -k rock. Now you can try this with me. Get ready? Your turn. R -a -k rock. rock. Again. R -a -k rock. Great job. Number two. Listen. And, 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 and. Now you can try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. Ah, and, and. Again. Ah, and, and. Great job. Number three. Listen. Sank. Ah, nk, sank. S, ah, nk, sank. You can try this with me. Get ready? Your turn. S, ah, nk, sank. Again. S, ah, nk, sank. Great job. Number four. Listen. Shape. Sh, a, p, shape. A p shape. Now you can try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. Sh a p shape. Again. Sh a p shape. Great job. Number five. Listen. Hit. H a t hit. H a t hit. Now you can try this with me. Get ready. Your turn. It hit again. It hit excellent work. Now let's move to our next activity called write and read. I'm going to spell a word for you to write. Then we will read the word together. Number one, write the word spelled R O C K. Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own. Great job. Listen what I sound out the word. R -a -k rock. R -a -k rock. The letter R makes the sound. R -o makes the sound. A. And C and K together make the sound. K. Your turn. R-A-K Rock Again R-A-K Rock Great job Number two Write the word spelled S-A-N-K Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own Great job Listen what I sound out the word S-A-N-K Sank. S -a -n -k, sank. The letter S makes the sound S 
A makes the sound A. Ah. And N and K together make the sounds N. Your turn. S. A. Ah. N. K. Sank. Sank. Again. S. A. Ah. N. K. Sank. Great job. Number three. I want you to write the word spelled H I T. Now try to read and pronounce this word on your own. Great job. Listen what I sound out the word. <sighs> it hit. <sighs> it hit. The letter H makes the sound. <sighs> I mix the sound A. And T makes the sound T. Your turn. <sighs> it hit. Again. <sighs> it hit. Hate. Hate. Great job. You are doing excellent work. Let's move to our next activity called Listen and Write. Are you ready to do Listen and Write? Great. Please take out your notebook and pencil and get ready to listen carefully. I want you to write the sentence The ship hit a rock and sank. I will say it again. The ship hit a rock and sunk. Lastly, the ship hit a rock and sunk. Good job. Now we are going to check and see if you wrote your words correctly. Ready? Great. There is a sad word and it is spelled... T H E. Ship has the sounds sh, e, p, and it is spelled S H I P. Hit has the sounds h, e, t, and it is spelled H I T. Oh. Uh, it's a sad word, and it is spelled with the letter A. Rock has the sounds R, R, K, and it is spelled R, O, C, K. And has the sounds A, N, D, and it is spelled A, N, D. Sunk has the sounds s a n k, and it is spelled s a n k. Now look at the words and read them as I say the sentence again. The ship hit a rock and sunk. Remember, this is a sentence, so the first letter. Of the first word should be capitalized and there should be a period at the end. What does the sentence the ship hit a rock and sunk mean? Sunk is the past tense of the verb sink. Sink means to go on underwater. That means the ship went on underwater. Oh no! Ship are not supposed to go on underwater. Why did they do that? Oh, the ship hit a rock. Wow. I think this sentence means that the ship hit a rock. And the rock made a hole in the ship. That hole led water into the ship. So, it would not float anymore and went on underwater. The person driving the ship should be careful next time to not go near the rock. Wow. Let's read the sentence together again. Ready? Your turn. The ship hit a rock and sunk. Again. The ship hit a rock and sunk. Great job. 
We now move to our next activity called Read Aloud. Let's join Teacher Kubo. Thank you, Teacher Ira. Hi, dear. Do you remember what passage we read in our previous lessons? Hmm. Let me have a think. Oh yes. Ha <laughs> ha. I remember now. We read lots of passages. We talk about Liberia's mineral resources. We also talk about iron ores, gold, and diamonds. We also talk about sea fishing and rainfall too. The information we learned was non-fiction, which means it was real-life facts and information. Great. So this week, I think. It would be a great idea to read a fiction story about fish. What do you think? Oh yeah, Teacher Kubo, you are right. That is an awesome idea to read a made-up story about fish. I know of a great story, and that story is called "A Fish and Gift." Shall we read that? Let's do it. I love fish. I sometimes go to the beach. To watch my uncle fish from a boat, it is always so exciting watching all the fish they catch in the net. Do you eat fish? What is your favorite fish? <laughs> yes, I eat fish. My favorite fish is bony, and I like to eat it with boiled plantain or cassava. Yeah, I'm talking about fish. It's making me hungry. Is it time to read the story? Hmm. No, Teacher Kubo. We are going to read the story tomorrow, not today. Oh no! Before we read the story, do you have any stories about fish or fishing? Actually, yes, I do. Let me tell you a little about that. When I was a kid, I loved to go fishing with my dad. I would go in the boat with my dad and help him drop the nets into the water. Then I would watch my dad and cause him pull the nets back to the shore. <laughs> It was always so exciting to see what fish would be caught. In the net. Today, we have some vocabulary to look at. Let's join Teacher Kubo. Thank you, Teacher Aaron. Vocabulary is all about words. We need to learn about words to help us communicate to people. We are going to learn about three key words. From the story that will help us better understand it, all our vocabulary words will help us understand the story we will read later. You will listen why I say the word. Then I will tell you when it is time for you to say the word. Ready? Listen first. Fishing. Fishing. Okay. When I say your turn, then we can all say A together. Ready? Your turn. Fiction. Fiction. Again. Fiction. fiction. Great. How many syllables does fiction have? Let's clap to find out. Listen first. Fiction. Fiction. Your turn. Fiction again. Fiction. Great. Do you know what is the definition for fiction? Listen, why I give one definition. Fiction is the activity of trying to catch fish. Fiction is the activity of trying to catch fish. Your turn. Fishing, fishing is the activity of trying to catch fish. One more time. Fishing, fishing is the activity of trying to catch fish. Great job. Let's see if we can put the word fishing in a sentence. Listen to my sentence. 
I went fishing today and I caught two huge fish. Again, I went fishing today and I caught two huge fish. See if you can think of your own sentence. Now, let's think about what type of word fishing is. Is fishing a noun, verb, or adjective? Fishing can be a noun or a verb. Sometimes fishing can be used as a noun. For example, a good day's fishing. It is describing what you can do. Sometimes fishing is used as a verb because it is a doing word. For example, the boy was fishing at the beach. Let's look at the next key word from the story. Ready? Listen first. Waves. Waves. Okay, when I say your turn, then we can all say it together. Ready? Your turn. Waves. Again, waves. How many syllables does wave have? Let's clap to find out. Listen first. Waves. Waves. Your turn. Waves. Again, waves. Great job. Do you know what is the definition for waves? Listen why I give one definition. Waves are a body of water moving along the surface of the ocean. Waves are a body of water moving along the surface of the ocean. Your turn. Waves are a body of water moving along the surface of the ocean. One more time. Waves are a body of water moving along the surface of the ocean. Great. Let's see if we can put the word wave in a sentence. Listen to my sentence. The big blue waves were crashing loudly on the shore. I read that again. The big blue waves were crashing loudly on the shore. See if you can think of your own sentence. Now, let's think about what type of word waves are. Is waves a noun, verb, or adjective? Waves is a noun. A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. Waves are a thing. For example, the children were playing in the waves. Let's look at the next key word from the story. Ready? Listen first. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, when I say your turn, then we can all say it together. Ready? Your turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. One more time. Beautiful. beautiful. Great. How many syllables do beautiful have? Let's clap to find out. Listen first. Beautiful. Beautiful. Your turn. Beautiful. Again. Beautiful. Great job. Do you know what is the definition for beautiful? Listen why I gave one definition. Beautiful is used to describe when something is pretty or gorgeous looking. Beautiful is used to describe when something is pretty or gorgeous looking. Your turn. Beautiful is used to describe when something is pretty or gorgeous looking. One more time. 
Beautiful is used to describe when something is pretty or gorgeous looking. Great! Let's see if we can put the word beautiful in a sentence. Listen to my sentence. My grandmother looked beautiful in her yellow shining dress. My grandmother looked beautiful in her yellow shining dress. See if you can think of your own sentence. Now, let's think about what type of word beautiful is. Is beautiful a noun, verb, or adjective? Beautiful is an adjective. An adjective is a describing word. For example, beautiful can be used to describe that the girl's hair is pretty. The girl has beautiful long hair. Great job today learning about some of the key words from the story of fetch and gift. Now, I have an assignment for you, students. I want you to find a timer on a phone or use a watch and set it for two minutes. I want you to write as many words as you can that relates to fishing. Count how many words you were able to write down. I am sure you will be able to write at least 10 words. Thank you very much. We moved the teacher Aaron for the summary of our lesson today. Wow. Thank you, teacher Kribu, for allowing our students to know our keywords for our next lesson. Okay, students, let's recap what we have learned today. We practiced the sentence, the waves are crashing loudly on the shore. We practiced blending sounds to read and write the words, rock, and sank, ship, and hit. We use our words to read the sentence, the ship hit a rock and sank. Lastly, we learn key vocabularies from the story, the fish and the gift. I want you to please take your pen and notebook and write down the following radio stations. You can also listen to more of these lessons. Are you ready? Number one, Truth FM 96.1. Number two, ELBC 99.9. Number three, ELUM 98. Point seven Hot FM one oh seven point nine Cool FM ninety one point nine Echoes Radio ninety one point five Kings FM eighty eight Point five Freedom FM eighty seven point nine OK FM ninety nine point five and City FM ninety point two. You can also follow us on community radio stations across the country. Also, on the Ministry of Education Facebook page are Ministry of Education dash Liberia or on the Ministry of Education website www.moe dash Liberia dot org. Students, if you have any questions about today's lesson, I want you to kindly send them by SMS through this number zero. Five, 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 six, seven, zero, eight, 
three three. Again, if you have any questions about today's lesson, kindly send them by SMS to this number zero five 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 six seven zero eight three three. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of our class today. We are so happy you were here with us. You were excellent. We hope to talk to you again soon. This has been a Rising in Youth Movement Partnership lesson, part of the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. Goodbye from me, J. Kruber D.K. Solomon. And goodbye from me, Mr. Aaron T. Bala. <laughs>